Hey guys, I'm actually here a half hour early. That's, I know that's not normal, but um, my neighbor wasn't able to help me uh, bring my sixth grader started track uh, this spring. So we now have two baseball schedules and a track schedule to have fun with. And <clears throat> I was under the impression they probably wouldn't have track practice on Wednesdays because we have e-learning and all the boys are home with me. Not so. So somehow we have to get them to track practice at three. So I am here just a little earlier today. I don't know if I'm going to have to make that a regular thing. I'm hoping my neighbor can help me at least bring and then I can pick up on Wednesday. So, <clears throat> you know, adding just more craziness to our Wednesday. Why not? <laughs> so anyhow, I feel like I have missed so much this month. I mean, it's been a wonderful month, but I can't believe tomorrow is April already. And, um, I had a blast in Mexico with my sisters, and then our family really did have a very good time in Florida. So, um, <clears throat> great memories. Um, the boys had a lot of fun, so I was thankful we were able to do that kind of a trip together and fly down to Florida. Um, our family of six had never flown before together, so, um, and as our oldest is a junior in high school, um, you know, you just don't know how many more of these vacations we'll have together, so feel very blessed that we were able to vacation together and we got to go to Universal Studios and the boys got to fish for shark. I even reeled one in. Uh, we released all of those. Um, you're not able to actually keep them, which is understandable, but the boys had a blast doing, doing that and I had fun playing in the ocean uh, with the boys. So we rented a couple body boards and stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Anyhow, all that time at the beach and in tropical land and enjoying the sunshine, I came home and I was so glad that I had scheduled in to do um, the sea, uh, what's it called? Sand and sea suite. Let me grab my uh, catalog here. I'm going to show you everything that's in it, but we're going to do some fun uh, kind of easy cards and I'll show you how to step up um, it a little bit, kind of using the same style. Um, but this really is a uh, beautiful suite. And I know Kelly, I, I mean, I know everybody loves the beach, right? But I know some of you who really enjoy the beach more than others. And Deb, you're somebody I know who goes to Florida and stays there for a while. Um, so this is kind of a must have if you love the beach. Um, and I have loved playing with it. It's really fun. So enough staring at me. Let's look and play with all this new stuff. And I'm going to show you where it is in the in the mini catalog. Um, before we get into it. So let me turn around. And we'll get a look at, oops, I want to tilt it this way. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so here is the first page here, Sand and Sea Suite. And you can see there's a lot of different shapes. It's just a, bon a fun, beautiful scheme of colors. Um, if you like the soft subtles, kind of those soft colors, you'll love the designer paper in this set or in this suite. You don't have to get everything in here. In fact, you'll find when I'm making my cards, I did not get this designer paper. And I'm kind of feeling sad that I didn't because there's some awesome, I've seen some great examples using the paper because there's some uh, crumb cake color that you can barely see there that lo really looks like beach sand. And there's a couple pieces in here that really look like trickled water through, which is really cool. I think there's one example here. Yeah, this one kind of shows um, a little bit bigger portion of that designer paper that kind of looks like water. Um, so looks like the tide coming into a beach, which is cool to have with the shells. However, with the stamp set alone, you get so many cool shells. I'm going to show you how you can just make your own background and kind of make your own designer paper if you're wanting to make a cool card and use that for designer paper. This is a big set. It comes on two two different sheets. Um, the bundle is really cool too uh, because it cuts out this big thing of seashells, um, cuts out the star, the sand dollar, another little seashell, and some of the even the like seaweed type of stuff. There's also the seashells embossing folder, which is awesome. And I'm gonna show you how cool that is, that it, it actually matches right with what you cut out, which is super awesome. Uh, makes it quick and easy to make some really cool cards. Uh, I love the opal rounds too, so not just pearls, but it, it really does look a little bit like opals or pearls that you'd find um, in a clam or something because they have a little bit of sparkle to them. Um, there's also 
just seaside shells, some extra sticker sheets if you want stickers of shells. I, I didn't get those either because I felt like with my stamps I didn't need stickers. Uh, number five here is the pearlescent specialty paper and I'll show you a little bit with that paper. It is really, it's got a pearly uh, kind of glaze look to it which is cool. And then there's also the sea and, sand and sea designer paper which is 12 by 12 and you get two of each design. So 12 sheets of color, colored cardstock. So um, again with the sweets, uh, this sweet collection, I believe this is one that will stay in our in our new catalog. However, the suite will not stay. So if you love everything in um, in the whole suite, um, it's just ninety two dollars to get everything that coordinates together already, which is cool. That you can use one easy number. So that's one five five nine eight zero, and that's ninety two dollars for the whole suite if you want everything in this collection because often I do want everything in the collection and I probably would have loved everything in the collection, but I did not get everything. But I did get the bundle that has the dies in there that I showed you and the two sheets of um, the stamps, which I already have the stamps on a bunch of uh, blocks right now, but the stamp set is really cool. I love some of the sayings in this. Um, amazing. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. So you use happy birthday all the time. You are unique and completely amazing. That's just a great sentiment for just an encouragement card. It could still be birthday. Um, I love that that kind of goes with the shells being unique and everything. Uh, this one is an awesome saying. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Love that sentiment. Um, that could be for any time. Love you to the beach and back. Love that sentiment too. Um, I'm so happy I found you. Wishing you the very best. So there's some really cool sayings in the midst of all the awesome shells and everything that you've got to stamp. Um, now, real quick, I also did want to say I, I'm sad that I didn't, because I was gone so much in March, I didn't get to do a video on Easter cards. I am still probably going to make some Easter cards. Easter is this Sunday. Can you believe it, guys? Oh my goodness, this, again, time keeps flying. But this is called The Gift of Hope. Um, I really loved these simple little flowers. Um, I love that it has the greatest gift of Easter is He Lives, or, and you could also have He is Not Here for He is Risen. Um, so I really did love this sentiment. So I'm gonna, I have to get going in the next couple days, and I am going to make a few um, Easter cards uh, for like my Bible study group and um, some different people. So, um, especially I was thinking of still just sending Easter cards to people I know who are still grieving. So some of my friends who've lost loved ones this year, I hope to send some Easter cards too. I wish I could send them to all of you. I just don't have that time right now, which is crazy. Um, so that would be a cute Easter one. There's a really cute Easter one. Let me just show you one that I didn't get, but some I don't know. I, I still can't get everything, but sometimes I kick myself when I don't get one. Um, there's a really cute, um, it's got like a little lamb and a bunny and it's adorable. And sometimes I think my husband trying to call me. I think sometimes, oh, he was trying to call me before my live video even. I started a little early. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's the couple Easter that are together. I just showed you Gift of Hope, and there's a quick card that is in the example there, which is really cute. I like that. And Springtime Joy. This is the cute other Easter one, which again, you could use this for baby cards and a lot of other stuff. Um, the flowers too, that, that's something you could use way more than Easter um, and just use a different phrase there. Um, so I will tell you, um, check out the retiring list too, this, um, the wreath builder, um, bundle, that whole bundle is retiring. I'm sad. There's definitely some stuff going that I'm, I'm going to be missing a lot and I'm sad that's going, but a new catalog's coming for you guys in May. For those of us who have joined Stampin' Up, um, tomorrow, um, those of, uh, those of you on my team can actually start pre-ordering from the new catalog. We were able to view the catalog already online. I haven't gotten my actually hard copy of it yet, but I'm excited to look through that. Um, but there's some perks of joining my team um, because tomorrow anyone on my team is able to pre-order stuff from the new catalog, which is fun. So I know you just want to look at 
some cards here. So let me start off with showing you something super easy. Okay, so this is without using any of the dies um, or the embossing folder. So um, even though I did use a, a die to cut out to the sentiment here, uh, love you to the beach and back. But this was a fun thing to do just using my blending brush. And like I've showed you before, I really love, and I don't know if you can see very well in the lighting. Um, I don't think the lighting is awesome right now. Um, but this is the Shimmer White cardstock and the shimmer white cardstock the whole cardstock has a little sparkle to it and so I actually did some blending first and then I stamped and then I stamped a few more shells so you can do the stamping before or after you blend um, but this is just a really fun way to give a little bit more color so it's white shimmer white cardstock and then uh, the, just the basic white cardstock and just was stamped I stamped in Bermuda Bay Calypso Coral and then the granny apple green is the green there uh, say hello if you're just joining. I saw some likes there. Thank you guys. Um, so what I wanted to do instead of making the exact same card, I'll show you starting with the same basic stuff. But um, so I'll put that in the corner. Now I've already done the embossing. So this was just stamped on the shimmer white, but this is also shimmer white cardstock. And I've embossed some seashells and the sand dollar and stuff in uh, white embossing powder. So I don't know if you can see that glistening on there. And instead of blues, I'm going to go with pinks. So I'm going to use petal pink, which is kind of the peachy color. And then I'm also going to use, and I'm, I use this brush mostly for um, my pinks. So, and I'm going to use Rococo Rose as well. So I'm using two different colors. So I'm going to put a little bit of the peach first, rub that in circles on my ink pad, and I'm gonna, now it looks like there's already a little bit of pink on my brush, which is fine, because we're using more than pinks. I'm starting off the paper, and because this is the lighter pink, I want this to be closer to the center, and I'm gonna blend towards the corner. Now I want to keep some of the color or some of the white white so I'm not going to blend through the whole thing. All right so that's all the peach that I'll use and then you just rub off on your paper and you can go to your next color. So now I'm doing the Rococo Rose and I'm actually going to blend into the color that I already did with the peach color. And it's so fun when you sponge, or you this, these are the blending brushes, but when you blend over what's embossed, because it really makes that pop. And then it's a whole nother different look, isn't it? When you're blending over what you've embossed. That's why I love this, love this technique. So this is a beautiful and fun way to use your embossing, um, embossing powder and you need the heat gun to heat it up, All right? So kind of a similar look because I'm using the blends. Um, I'm blending two different colors here, um, but still a very, very different look. Um, now, I think I'll put it on our petal pink um, background. I could do white as well. Maybe I'll do white. Yeah. Okay, so I just cut it in half. I'm gonna score, this is the thick white. Score it four and a quarter. move this so it's a little bit more centered here for you and is that so pretty so pretty now I could keep it white or I could make the sentiment really pop and I think I'm gonna try to do that with 
um, making a sentiment on black paper. I've left out some black paper where I put it. Okay, now when you make when you want to make a, a sentiment pop, you can either use your Whisper White um, craft pad or you can do some embossing again. And to make it really pop, I think I am gonna um, I think I'm gonna use the person mark pad because why not? All right, so I'm gonna stamp. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way in the Versamark pad. So this is just a really sticky substance, sticky pad. And if you still have the like powdery embossing buddy, let's see, I'm gonna stamp it down here because I'm not sure what I even wanna cut it out with. All right. So when you stamp in Versamark, it's very hard to see it right away. You see a little bit of shine, but I'll show you the power and the beauty of the embossing powder. Okay, so I have mine, I put mine in a bigger case um, and I've got, I need to get some more for my other cases, but this is just a little like those sample ice cream spoons. I don't know how often you can get them anymore because of COVID. Not too many ice cream places are handing out samples anymore. <laughs> um, I'm just flicking the paper here to get, oh, hey, Chris. You haven't missed too much now. I'm flicking to try to get some of the excess uh, powder off here. And then I want to cover this up so I don't spill it. Spilling embossing powder is like spilling gold. I don't know. You don't want to. You don't want to waste it. All right. So here's the one that I had made previously. This is the one I'm making now. So just a little bit different, but with our blending brushes. I'm gonna heat this real quick, and I'll come back. Now, I don't know why they are retiring a lot of their, oh, that one's not big enough. They're reti retiring a lot of punches too, guys. So when you check out the retiring list, um, a lot of the punches, um, accessories, and things are on sale. Some 20% off, some are up to 60% off. So make sure you check out those sale prices. There might just be something that you were hoping to get and you never did that now is on sale. I'm trimming that off so I can reach this here. This is one of the punches that is retiring. I think this is called the story, story time label or something like that. I might have just said that wrong, but. All right, so I want that to look straight. I'm gonna punch that out. And how cute is that? Like, that's, awesome how how much that pops that sentiment isn't it and then the embossed and blended over is just such a perfect little I don't know it looks so good together um because it's reminding them of the sea I'm just going to use this one I used white baker's twine this one I'm going to use the linen and I want enough just to tie a bow around the card here Now, there is really awesome sheer uh, pool party ribbon uh, that is in the whale suite. I was hoping to find an excuse to find or use to make 
a bow with that ribbon, the pool party ribbon. Okay, sometimes this is easier for you. I'm, I'm pulling this tight and I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna make a knot before I tie my bow because sometimes it is really hard to just make a bow and hold everything together. So once you tie that knot and it's nice and tight, um, if you have enough linen thread or ribbon or whatever you're using, that just makes it easier to tie that bow. Okay, so I'm tying that around the white base. And then where did I, oh, here it goes. Um, then I can put the sentiment here up on, I'll use dimensionals to pop it up. I'm gonna put two kind of towards the, the center because I might want to just add another seashell or something. So friends are like seashells, you collect them along the way. I'm not sure if I wanna add a sand dollar here or maybe I'll just keep it like that. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it like that for now and um, when you see the finished product, there might be an added star or something. I might do it in one of the pinks, the peach or the Rococo rose color. Not ready for the sand dollar yet here. <clears throat> I know, Chris, I came a half hour early because I have to bring Gabe to track practice, so. Trying to fit it all in today on this crazy Wednesday. There, isn't that cute? So similar look, but um, this one's embossed. This one is just stamped with a few colors on there. Love you to the beach and back. And then here is Friends Are Leaks Seashells. You collect them along the way. Such sweet sentiments in this one. I really do love it. Um, here's another one to just show you an easy. So this, I did use the dies. Um, so when you cut out that big die, you actually can just kind of cut them apart and use them differently. These two are not a part of the die, but that one um, is, I believe, in the big die that cuts out all of them. And then you have you do have some separate dies that cut out those the star and but here's a fun way on the pink on this is blushing bride i used the same color ink blushing bride um ink on ink to just make a background with those shells they're really pretty kind of a distinctive look um so i love the way that the shells stamp and then i just stamped actually in bermuda bay on coastal cabana uh cardstock yeah, thank you, isn't it? And it was super easy. And then I did add those pearlescent, uh, what are they called? Op the opal rounds on there. And that's a perfect little accent. And then I did use linen thread in this one too. So this is like not even any, a whole lot of extra layers, um, just those extra few things. And I like the green blue with uh, the pink. I thought that looked, turned out well. Um, here, I'm gonna show you a couple cards that I used with the same, um, so here's the embossing folder on the white, which is awesome. I, this embossing fo folder is really cool. Um, I really love how it turns uh, turns out and how deeply it impresses those shells and the seaweed and stuff. It's really cool. And this in this place is where that other shell is, but because the embossing folder matches with the uh, what you cut out too, it's really cool. I'm going to show you if if you're not understanding what that means. Um, I'll show you what I made with just the rest of it. Um, so when you first cut out, okay, so this is um, this is actually not the designer paper that matches with the seashells, but it's still cool. Um, this is actually from the ice cream suite. Um, and I thought these were kind of still cool beachy colors. Um, so I already did this once, but I wanted to show you what I did. Um, and to use two um, or to, with the one die that I cut out and then I embossed over it with the embossing folder, I was able to make these two cards and they're very different cards, right? This one I used crumb cake and our, the new curvy dies to make it look like a little bit of a beach wave there, which is kind of fun. Um, but I'm gonna show you with this embossing folder um, how cool this is. So once you cut it out, I cut it out first and now I can place that cutout right over my, uh, right over the embossing folder. 
Chris, I'm so glad that you're glad I'm showing you this. This is going to be great for uh, spring and even summer birthdays, occasions, open house. Um, okay, so you see I laid that on the embossing folder. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to run it through my embossing folder now. Okay, now watch the magic here. This is just so cool. I love how that looks. All of a sudden it went from just a flat thing to these awesome little shells that you can use. Um, to go a little further than that, I'm gonna use my terracotta tile because that's one of the colors uh, that matches with this designer paper. So I'm gonna use my blending brush again, and I'm gonna just blend and sponge right over, over the whole thing, but especially the shells, because it brings out a little bit more of um, the ridges in the shells. This big conch shell is really cool. And then I'll show you what I did to just make different cards. It's pretty easy to just cut up because you just follow the embossed lines then. Okay, so for this conch shell that I made on this card, um, you just cut off some of the excess seaweed there. If you wanted to keep it, you could. But I did just trim it off. And some of the seaweed you can still use on a different project if you want. So I'm just trimming off everything that goes around this shell. Trying to stick with the outline of the lines. There, and then this, these pieces you can cut up as you want and, you, and make a different card. And that's where I cut these up. I did stamp one more star. Um, but the rest of the, the seaweed and these um, shells are all from the rest of this die. I just cut off this little piece here and this shell out separately. And that whole piece is like right there. And then that shell and this piece is just separately cut out and put on there. So very cool. Um, so I'll show you with this piece. Here is the pearl, the pearlescent, the specialty paper. It really is pretty. I don't know if you can see that sparkle um, and that shine to it, but the pearl paper, especially embossed, is just gorgeous. I love it. So here I've already sponged over, so I can just, if I wanted to add my shell right over where that shell is in the paper, then it just makes a good background. Um, now, I think I'll use the pink, just like I did in there. Again, it's fun to use something that isn't um, paper. So just a little, it's, I don't know, to me it's so cool how just a little bit of ribbon or twine can add um, a lot of character to your card. And it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to add just a little bit and it adds just a little bit of extra color so we're going to put that kind of right in the same spot tie a bow in there and then I can pop my shell on a couple dimensionals so we'll grab a couple dimensionals. My husband was trying to call me earlier. I hope it wasn't anything too emergency. Um, Joe is with my oldest son looking at Indiana State University. 
He's been taking Jacob to colleges. It's crazy that our oldest is getting to that age where he's gonna start thinking about colleges. Um, okay, so this is on the pearl color. This uh, this I used the, on the background, the peach uh, petal pink color. On this one, I think I wanted a little bit deeper back, so I'm gonna use the terracotta tile. Okay, just a reminder that these in colors um, are retiring as well. If you have any of these colors in ink in, um, or you want them in ink pads um, or cardstock, these always go super fast because everyone knows they're retiring because uh, they came in 2019 and they are now done. So that's the Seaside Spray. Purple Posy was one of my favorite light purples, but I am happy to say there is another, I think I can say, uh, there's another light purple coming out in an, in one of the new in colors, which is awesome. Um, so Seaside Spray, Purple Posy, the Rococo Rose, um, Terracotta Tile, and the Pretty Peacock. These colors are all retiring. So if you want any of these, if you want more cardstock or any of those colors, get that now because um, it's going, it's going to be gone fast. I know it. They always go fast. These were really pretty colors this year. But new, beautiful colors are coming. A new set of five in colors are coming in the new catalog. Um, I think the, the light purple color that I'm talking about is called Fresh Freesia or something like that. It's cool. Um, so that just makes it look so much different on a darker. There's more pastels, and here's a little bit deeper version. And with used with the pearl, that even makes it look different too. And then I'll just stick a few dimensionals. I'll do one right over the twine so that doesn't move. And then I could add a sentiment in there. I'm not going to completely finish this one uh, just for time's sake so I can get Gabe to track on time. I'm not even exactly sure what time it is because my phone doesn't show the time when I'm doing my live videos. They just want me to stay here forever and you would like it too, would you? No. Isn't that so pretty? Love it. So I would just have to add a, in a message. This one says friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. I think I stamped you. I'm so happy I found you. And on the inside of the card too, um, you know, stamp a couple shells. It always is fun to stamp the inside of your card. Sometimes I forget that. I stamped off there. I'll stamp a, a sand dollar there. Wipe that off. And we'll do this cute shell here too. And again, I'm going to stamp off on my scrap paper first. We'll stamp a couple at the bottom too. There, it doesn't have to be, it's not rocket science and it doesn't have to be amazing, but these shells are so cool, aren't they so pretty? So just stamping a couple shells on the inside helps dress up your card. And I didn't really have to do a whole lot of stamping on this, it's just the sentiment. Um, so this embossing folder is amazing, I love it. I feel like there was another one I dressed up the inside of, oh yeah. On this one, love you to the beach in the back, I also stamped some of those shells on the inside in the same colors. So I use Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, and the Granny Apple Green. And then I could say whatever I wanted to. This could be a birthday or a thank, thank you or thinking of you. So don't forget the inside of your cards. Um, it's just fun to dress up the inside. I don't think I've gotten the inside of this one yet. This one is Bumblebee in the background because that is also one of the colors and I thought yellows are kind of fun and beach, fun beach colors too. Um, here is one. Here's one done embossed in the soft sea foam. And I, I mean, soft sea foam, how perfect is that for a beach card, right? So 
I had to do one soft sea foam. And here I'm gonna, um, what I did on this is I cut it out of, I think this is, oh, what is that like right? Sahara sand. Again, Sahara sand, that's perfect for the beach, right? I mean, the name of it alone says, you need to use me in the sea and sand suite. So this is kind of fun, and I've already colored a couple of the shells um, with just one light blend marker. So this one I used a pink color, and this one I used the light Just Jade and then the, a pink together. Because you know, when you're collecting shells, my boys were collecting some shells this trip even, and they're all different colors. So you can go crazy with your colors. You can color shells any color you want. Um, but I like that after you've cut them out and then you embossed it all together too, that you can use these separately. So you don't have to use the whole thing as a big background. In fact, that's just nice and easy that after you've stamped it all and then you emboss it, that you can use these and make multiple cards then. You're not stuck with just one card. And it's just a little bit of work, not too much to just trim off the seaweed pieces. Don't throw them away right away because you may want to use some of that seaweed as a background behind a saying or something. So that's one, two, three, there's the fourth shell. So there's five shells on there. So you literally could make five cards out of the one thing you cut out. Or you can put a couple together and at least make two different cards with everything you cut out. There's the last one. little clamshell. We'll keep that just in case I want to use some of it. Okay, so the ones that I already colored, oh, I forgot to trim this off. The ones that I either colored with the green and pinks here, we could just use those and put a sentiment in the center and voila, I mean, I could already be done if I wanted to with just a sentiment in the center and a couple of those shells and I could be done. Um, what I am gonna do, cause I'm not gonna finish that card, but one more card that I wanna show you, just layering with a lot of neutrals, um, but then making um, the color pop with the shells. So here's using crumb cake as a background I'll use this paper is some of that wood paper from the Tasteful Textures, I think is what it's called. Um, now this is where you can step it up to when you're adding layers of designer paper and different stuff. I'm just using my thumbnail. I don't have much of a nail, but I'm still using it um, to just kind of distress the edges of the paper. That just kind of, again, makes the card pop a little bit gives it some dimension. You could even crumple it all up if you wanted to, but you don't have to. And I'm gonna tilt all of these just a little bit. So this one I'm not gonna stamp on. This is just for background. I'm gonna tilt this one a little bit that way. Once you get it glued down, you can also just, um, even if it rips a little, that's okay. Turn the corners. Now this one, there is a little stamp that gives it a little bit of a texture. Um, so I'm gonna use crumb cake on crumb cake. If I can find the crumb cake. Here we go. There's this little spotted one. Gives it some, a little bit of sandy I mean, it's very, very subtle here. It's 
possibly because my crumb cake may need to be re-inked. <laughs> Part of the reason. Um, and let's do... I really like the sand dollar. I don't know. It's, it's so pretty. Okay, so I stamped a little bit on that on the crumb cake piece just so it didn't blend right in. And I'm gonna distress the edges of this one too. So again, in this card, we're just adding a few layers, but it's not too difficult. If you like it to be more plain and simple and straight, you could straighten it out. You wouldn't have to distress the edges. So you could do the exact same thing, but just with a little bit less steps if you don't like messing with your cardstock. But our cardstock's so thick, um, isn't that cool? After you distressed it, just, wow, it makes that layer pop so much more. In fact, I might crumple it a little bit. Our paper is so strong. It really is an awesome thing. Okay, so I crumpled that up a couple times. And I'm still going to just put some adhesive on the back of this. I forgot. Sometimes when you've embossed or crumpled this, especially on the crumb cake, you have to be careful with your adhesive, especially the uh, Seal Plus. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that down. Isn't that fun? And now this is gonna be the centerpiece. And I'm gonna trim it, the, my white piece down just a little bit. Take out my cutter. I'm gonna make it a little bit, so this is two and a half. I'm gonna make it two and a half, and I'm gonna trim it down a bit too. Two and a half by three and a half. Why, I don't know, I just feel like it. I kinda of like all how all the textures are looking there. Okay, so now I can add some pop of color by, uh, these are the shells that I cut out of the, um, out of that die. And then I'm going to add a little pop of color with this shell, or this star. And you know, just to be a little bit different, I'm going to use my, what color is this? Is this gold grape? Gorgeous grape ribbon. No, I did tell you I wanted to use my pool party. I'm going to see if I can find my pool party ribbon. found it. Okay. Cuz this pool party ribbon is so pretty. So again, this was in the in the whale suite, the pool party sheer ribbon. It is just so pretty and it does make me think of the beach, so I just had to use this. I'm glad I remembered the pool party sheer ribbon. We'll just trim that off. And I'll just put that bow somewhere. We'll see after we. Now, because I'm using pool party, I want to grab a pool party blend. I'm gonna make this shell. And again, this is over the Sahara sand, so it's not pure white, but it still is fun to give it a little extra color. But because it's not right on white, you really don't have to be perfect. Now this one, I, the star, I did stamp on white, so I'm going to color in, and this is my Calypso, no. What is this? Yeah, it's my Calypso Coral. Oops. So with the light first, this is gonna be my pop of color that I was telling you about. I'm just gonna go over the star part and then blend that back in. 
with my light. Then it's not such a straight line. That's what I love about the blends. And maybe I'll use a little bit of blue and and the Calypso with this big shell. Because again, like I said, you can do whatever colors you want. And the beach and shells have so many different colors. I think I'm just gonna stay with the light Calypso in here. Blend it right in the middle. There, and that has a little bit of both those colors in there. And let's see if one of the, love you to the beach and back. We'll do that in, terracotta tile is actually pretty close to Calypso Coral, so I'm going to use the terracotta tile again here. And I'm going to stamp that right up here in the corner so I can put uh, the shells kind of around that. Let's find those dimensionals again. So you see, no matter what color you use, goodness, this, this seashell set is awesome. I love the way that these shells stamp. Um, the embossing folder that works with it too. Guys, if you have um, the die cutting machine that embosses too, you're gonna want, you're gonna want this suite because it's truly amazing. I love it. All right, so before I put, you know, commit to putting my shells down, I always kind of look at where I want them to go before I commit. And I think I like, kind of like that with the star on the top there. I like that bright, that bright star is cute. Okay, so I'm putting a couple dimensionals on the back of this. And I haven't forgotten that, ooh, I don't want to cover up my words. Let's move that shell just a little bit over. Here's my pool party one. And of course, I kind of forgot how I lined it up, but that's all right. <laughs> Here's the star. We'll put that right there. And I don't know if I want to do this little one or not yet. Maybe the little one can go on the inside. There you go. Now I'm thinking. And the pool party ribbon, where should we tuck that in? Maybe under, kind of under the star. Or over here. Or up here by the sentiment. Hmm. This is the joy of when you don't really know where you want things. You just play around till it, till it clicks in your mind. I think I'm gonna tuck it under the star because that star really does pop. So I'm just putting a glue dot on the back here. I'm gonna tuck the center of the bow under one of the legs of the star there. And then I can trim that just a little bit more. Love you to the beach and back. And then where did that little shell go? I'll put a dimensional under the shell. And that can go on the inside next to a sentiment on the inside of the card. Thanks guys. Isn't that so pretty? So this is more neutrally colors. Um, and I, obviously with the shells, you may have a guy in your life that loves the beach and stuff too. So you totally could keep this masculine as well. 
um, anybody who loves the beach. Um, so I hope you enjoyed your look at the sand and sea suite. Um, we did a little bit of blending and I just showed you how awesome you're going to love the embossing folder and the dies that coordinate. They just are awesome. I will finish and take pictures of the ones that I didn't completely finish, but I, you know, wanted to show you how I used the embossing folder with those dies. Here was the simple pink and Calypso coral. Here was the one that we blended over um, embossed shells. So lots of fun that you can have with this suite. Um, those, the pearls, the opal rounds are really fun and pretty accent too. So lots of great stuff guys in this suite. Um, I hope you enjoyed joining me today and just remember to get your order. I put in uh, this month's hostess code right now. Oh yeah, Rhonda, totally. Father's Day, retirement cards. Definitely. That, that, this would be perfect for retirement cards. You know, enjoy the beach. Love you to the beach and back and say congrats. Enjoy the beach more. <laughs> yes, you're so right. Um, so these shells could go very far and you could use them for lots and lots of occasions. So um, just remember this month, it, um, our new catalog is actually will come in May this year. Usually it doesn't come till June. So everything is, reti the retired list is out right now. So make sure you check that out. Those of you in my club, uh, make sure you check that out right now too. Lots of stuff, anything on, that's on sale um, is going to be going fast. Um, and tomorrow, club people, um, we are meeting at 1030 in the morning. So hope to see those of you in my club tomorrow. I'm so excited to see some of you. We may even make a card with the seashells because my trips to Mexico and Florida just made me love the beach all over again and I wanted to keep on remembering the beach so that's why we did the sea and sand suite today so check out those retirement lists uh, get your orders in soon and I will see you guys next week and I tomorrow as a demonstrator I get to pre-order some new stuff too so I'm looking forward to giving you some ooh sneak peeks of new stuff very soon if not next week the week after all right Enjoy your last day of March, everyone. Tomorrow is April 1st. I know it's April Fool's Day, but to my club members, I'm not April fooling you. We really do have a meeting. Uh, so uh, enjoy your final day of March, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye, guys.